Live music. And then suddenly the pandemic posed a challenge no one could have imagined. Tori shows us how the venue owners used it as an opportunity for improvement. Hi, Tori. Hi, Jess. Hi, Yuki. Hey. That's right. I mean, many people, um, you know, COVID has been such a tragedy, specifically for small businesses as well. And many of the small businesses that I have interviewed and how they've viewed uh, the pandemic is one where they had to bob and weave, and two, they had to find a bright spot. And they had to keep moving and keep going. And that is exactly what the Ardmore Music Hall has done during the pandemic. They really have found that bright spot to focus on to make sure the music kept going on on this, on this mainline beacon of entertainment. Take a look. Whether you're two years old or a hundred years old, there's nothing more captivating than live music. It's ageless. Yeah, it's ageless. Being able to have a place that's comfortable for kids, hippies, and older adults is a is not an easy task. So I think that's something I'm unconsciously proud of. The Ardmore Music Hall has it all. New, new tagline. Yeah, we'll borrow that. Rich in sound and spirit, the Ardmore Music Hall has been a beacon for entertainment on the main line for more than four decades. Does it sort of amaze you how much music these walls have soaked in? I don't, I don't stop to think very often. The list is pretty amazing at this point. How does it feel to continue to build on top of that legacy? Do you feel a little pressure with that? Responsibility, I would say, more than pressure. There's a lot of history that way predates me. So understanding how much the rooms meant to a lot of different people, fans and musicians, is, is certainly a cool feeling. From underage college concert goer to owner and head booker, Chris Perella has some great memories of this space before he took over in 2013 and thereafter creating his own vision of this venue. But the year 2020 would prove to be its most defining in many ways. From an, an owner that is looking at a place that's supposed to be swarming with people, what was that experience like to see an empty music hall? It's a great question. It was eerie the first few times for sure. And as time went on and getting into the spring, it sort of shifted to a lot of positive momentum despite the lack of crowd because we had a plan for a bigger picture. We had our production guys in here retooling the sound and lighting every day along the way. We had our bar and venue management in here analyzing how we can make different nooks and crannies of the room work better. We had our marketing team helping create that narrative and let people know that there was some excitement and something to look forward to. Just looking forward to seeing what our newly renovated room looks and feels like packed full of people. What do you hope their eyes say when this hall becomes alive again? My hope is that people wander in and at first are taken aback by how good everything looks, but then shortly thereafter feel like they've settled right back into the same spot that they've been in a you know, hundred times before. Feels like that's really what makes the Ardmore Music Hall sing. It's really the people that fill it, yeah, whether well on stage or in the crowd. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that it's it's really a uh, it's a group of music lovers first and foremost, and I think that people come here to you know leave the rest of life behind a little bit. I think everybody missed that during the pandemic. You've got home and you've got work, but everybody needs a third place. So uh, I think having that back is going to be really good for the soul for for everybody involved. Big drum bang at the end. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a place that everyone looks forward to. And while it has been tragic, the pandemic, and has pulled us apart in so many ways, I thought this was a great example of how community can come together through one channel, and that is music. So the Ardmore Music Hall has fant a fantastic lineup. We'll put a link on CBSPhilly.com so you can go there and check it out. But you, Jess, you guys have been there. You oh, can feel yeah. the sweat off of these mu musicians. It's intimate. Right it's awesome. up front and the acoustics in that <laughs> venue are just right. incredible. I think a few years ago I saw Bill Jolly's Hard Drive All-Stars. Funky! Cool. It was all that and <laughs> then some. I haven't seen them. I've seen the samples there a couple times. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's what I'm glad. And they also do kids' shows, by the way. Yes. Oh, really? So that's okay. pretty neat, too. So start them young. Bring them in young. I'm going to get Lou up there, have her rocker tee on, <laughs> and Stage, her hands just up. Like her mom. Start her young. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Tori. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thanks, hey, cho children from underserved communities across our region are enjoying an unforgettable experience.